the clubs at 40 following the state interception. Here's a three-man blitz, and Finley's hit as he throws, fires long, and Harvick's got it at the five-yard line, into the end zone, touchdown state. I had uh, somebody close to me, uh, you know, say they would do anything to play one more year of college football. So I kind of took that to heart. I just kind of want to cherish um, one more year, uh, you know, with, with this group uh, and these guys that I became close with. You know, honestly, I've, I've improved in a lot of different areas of my life uh, on and off the field. Um, and I think, you know, that's, you know, that's a, that's a token to, you know, some of the coaches we have here and just some of the guys we have uh, that are a part of this program, this culture, um, you know, how much I've changed uh, as a person, uh, you know, kind of just the organization and all aspects of my life. Um, and then as far as on the field, Coach Drinkwitz has, has had a, you know, a big, you know, a big part in my development and just kind of continually learning and kind of progressing within the offense and, and getting to know, uh, you know, our team and our, our guys on offense. He's got confidence in himself, um, and no matter how things are going, he believes that he's got the ability to make a play, which allows him to, to shake off disappointments or mistakes and continue to move forward. Uh, he's got a great understanding of the game, he's very smart, knows what the defenses are doing, but uh, I think his greatest strength is his accuracy. Um, he's an extremely accurate and intelligent quarterback. Um, and the thing I'm probably the most proud of him is his developed toughness over the last, um, you know, three years that I've known him, four years that I've known him. His toughness has continued to grow, not just physically, but mentally. And I think that's what's given him a chance to be an elite player. I see it as just a, an amazing way to practice uh, self-improvement. And I think uh, so many different things about football correlate to real life. Um, I love trying to find the balance between um, working and, and being great at football, but also finding a balance uh, outside of your life. And I love uh, the times in my life when everything is, um, is going well on the outside and I can see how that correlates to my performance on the field uh, and just make comparisons like that uh, and just continually try to better myself as far as my health, uh, my physical health. Um, and then, you know, lastly, just the relationships that you build. Um, I don't think there's many other settings and environments uh, in, in life that you get to have the opportunity to, you know, come to, to a building like this with a hundred of your, your friends and teammates and get catered on and work on, your, work on your body and work on your mind and work on your performance. I mean, that's, it's pretty special, just the whole thing kind of encapsulated. So uh, that's why I love football.